Hi, uh, I'm, uh, my name is Masafumi Oizumi. Uh, I'm from uh, Rikem uh, in Japan and uh, Monash University in Australia. So, so today's talk about, uh, I think, mathematics of uh, integrated information. And a measure of consciousness refers to basically integrated information, and I'll give you the kind of details of how we can quantify integrated information. And uh, my framework is based on the you know, information geometry, which I'll uh, explain later. So here is the outline of the today's talk. I'll first uh, briefly review the kind of most important concepts of integrated information theory of consciousness. And I'll explain how to mathematically define integrated information. This is a kind of a unified framework. So today's main objective is not uh, giving the kind of best measure of integrated information, but rather giving kind of a framework, mathematical framework, to you know, define integrated information. And uh, finally, I'll explain the relationships between the integrated information and the other kind of well-known communities. So first, I'll start from the probably the most important concept in IIT, which is the distinction between the extrinsic versus intrinsic information. So IIT states that uh, you know system must generate information to generate consciousness. Uh, when IIT says information, it refers to uh, intrinsic information. So let's just uh, compare the you know brain our brain and uh, you know just a camera, digital camera, which uh, consists of uh, millions or billions of just uh, photodiodes. Actually, that, uh, when we consider just extrinsic information, which is the information for some ideal external observer, we quantify just uh, you know, some, inform let's say, mutual information between the some external stimulus and some response of the system. Actually, that in terms of uh, this extrinsic information, we cannot distinguish uh, the brain from the digital camera. Digital ca camera generates uh, much of extrinsic information. When we see uh, the states of the billions of photodiodes, we can extract much of you know, information about external world. In this sense, the brain and the camera are actually the same, but in the camera, actually, there is no intrinsic information because that, uh, inside the camera, there is no such a thing that can accumulate all of the you know, information generated by our photodiodes. Just uh, inside the camera, these photodiodes just independently work uh, regardless of other photodiodes. So there is no communications between the you know, photodiodes and there is no sort of intrinsic information. So intrinsic information is something like information for the system itself, and the information that the system can exploit for itself, which does not depend on the external observer, but only depend on just the causal relationships in the system. IIT tries to quantify this kind of concept, intrinsic information. And uh, you know, conscious system must generate intrinsic information, not extrinsic information. And also, the important thing is that, uh, you know, concept of integrated information. So integrated information quantifies actually the difference or information loss after some causal inferences between the parts are cut. So let's see the digital camera again. This constitutes of just a, a bunch of uh, photodiodes, independent photodiodes. Even if we cut the causal inferences between the photodiodes, nothing basically changes. So in that case, we say integ integrated information is zero. So if nothing changes or no information is lost uh, after the you know, causal inferences are cut, we say integrated information is zero. Therefore, we say that the digital camera cannot generate uh, consciousness. But in, in the case of the brain, if we cut the you know, causal inferences between the neurons, millions of billions of neurons, the difference will be a lot, and a uh, lot of information is lost. And also, the IIT tries to uh, solve sort of boundary problem of consciousness. So let's imagine that uh, you know, 
two people are talking. Actually, we can consider the you know, integrate information between the two people. It's, it's probably a little, but uh, there is something, some info integrate information between the two people. But uh, we say that uh, there is no such a thing of you know, two consciousness of two people. We say there is just a two consciousness uh, in each person. So IIT excludes uh, you know, the other consciousness. Only an entity that you know, generates the local maximum of phi exists. In that case, the integrated information inside this person is much, much larger than the integrated information in the whole two, pa two people. So this, these two consciousness exist. And also in the case of the brain, actually there is a left brain and the right brain. And uh, due to the you know, strong connection between the you know, left and right brain, the, our consciousness is one. So in this case, the whole integrated information is larger than the you know, integrated information in the parts of the brain. So in our brain, you know, integrated information is one because, because that, uh, the whole integrated information is larger than the part of the integrated information. In this way, we can exclude you know, consciousness and uh, only the you know, entity that generates a local maximum exists. So in this way, we can make the boundary of our many, many <laughs> consciousness. OK, so let's move on to the, you know, how to mathematically quantify integrated information. So the important thing is that uh, we cut the system. And we compare the original system with the you know, disconnected uh, system. So in this case, that, uh, we, uh, we use the word uh, full model for the you know, original network, which is described by uh, this probability distribution P. And the uh, disconnected model is represented by the probability distribution Q. And we quantify the difference between the, you know, this P and Q. And we say integrated information is just a difference between P and Q. So to quantify integrated information, we need to first define the operation of cutting causal inferences between the parts. And we also need to define the, how we can measure the difference between probability distributions. So in IIT, previous version of IIT, we just used uh, you know, well-known Karbach library divergence, which is uh, kind of easy to analyze. But uh, we use, uh, we change the, this uh, difference into an uh, earth mover distance, which we believe probably is better for understanding consciousness. So there are some options to, you know, for the difference. Uh, building probability distributions. But uh, in my talk, I uh, use uh, Karbach library divergence uh, for the ease of you know, explanation. And the uh, most, uh, most important uh, contribution of the kind of my uh, work is that uh, we also have to minimize the difference between P and Q, which corresponds to the finding the best approximation uh, of P by using this Q disconnected model. And also Max also proposes this operation for defining the integrated information. So let's just uh, uh, consider the specific, uh, just a simple system, which constitutes of just uh, two neurons, two uh, units, x1 and x2. And I represent the uh, path by uh, x and the present state of the system by y. And there are actually two types of kind of interactions in the system. Uh, first one is the interactions at the same time. And also interactions across the time, which is represented by uh, red arrows. And uh, what we are interested in for quantifying integrated information is just uh, you know, causal inferences, red arrows. And especially th these two arrows between the, you know, units. 
And the example of the, this kind of dynamic system is, for instance, at the Gaussian distribution case, which is just represented by just a li linear equation of uh, y and x, the part present and past. And actually, that uh, these you know interaction at the same time uh, comes from just uh, you know noise, sort of noise correlation. Okay, so with this setting, first we need to you know define the operation of cutting uh, causal inference. So let's consider the cut the causal inference just from x2 to y1. In this case, we impose the, some constraint for the disconnected model, which is uh, represented by the Q of y1 given x1, x2. It's just uh, Q of y1 given x1, which means that uh, you know, the state of y1 only depends on just x1, not depend on x2. By imposing this condition, we can cut this connection. So by using this uh, definition of cutting causal inference, we can derive uh, many quantities, many well-known quantities, as well as uh, integrated information. First, let's consider just uh, you know, cutting all of the you know, causal inferences from the past state to the present state. Uh, this is done by imposing you know, four constraints like this, which is just uh, you know, q y given x is just q y, so y does not depend on x. By Imposing this constraint, what we need to do is uh, minimize the difference between the full model and the disconnected model. Disconnected model is constrained by this. And uh, I introduced a framework of information geometry. So information geometry considers uh, you know, space of probability distributions. So let's consider that this is the space of the probability distributions, and the point in this space represents uh, some particular probability distribution, in this case, P here. And uh, this constraint uh, sort of forms some sub-manifold or some kind of plane of <laughs> plane inside the, this space. So this uh, blue kind of plane represents uh, you know, con this constraint. So the point, any point in, in this plane uh, satisfies this constraint. And uh, from the theory of information geometry, actually the closest point, Q star, which is the best approximation, is the orthogonal projection of P to the submanifold. And actually that in this case, this submanifold is sort of flat manifold, like a plane. So we can use the Pythagorean relationship uh, like this, like uh, among P, and the closest point Q star, and any point inside the manifold, some manifold Q, and uh, this relationship holds. So by using this relationship, we can easily find the closest point, which is actually, we can find that the K divergence is minimized when Q star of X is actually equal to the actual you know, probability dis uh, margin distribution of x, and the q sub y is, uh, is equal to the actual you know, margin distribution of y. And if we substitute these you know, minimized point in this equation, we can get actually mutual information, which makes sense. So to you know, summarize, if we cut all of the causal inferences between the past and the present, and then we minimize the difference between full and the disconnected model, we can get uh, mutual information between X and Y, which is kind of an upper bound of information that is available in the system. And if we cut only the one causal inference, actually that uh, we can derive transfer entropy. Like uh, if we minimize under this constraint, the k divergence becomes just, uh, you know, transfer entropy, which just only quantifies, uh, you know, inference, right, uh, of X2, because it is represented by the, you know, entropy of Y1 given only X1 minus entropy of Y1 given everything. So this actually quantifies the effect of X2 for predicting Y1. 
for the integrated information, we want to quantify the causal you know, inf interactions between the parts. So we cut both directions. And we impose two constraints. And then we minimize the you know, difference between P and Q. We can get the measure of integrated information. So the important thing is that uh, this, in this way, the integrated information is less than the mutual information, total amount of information. Because that, uh, let's say that uh, this is the space of the constraints for integrated information. This, and uh, let's say this green one represents uh, you know, uh, the constraints uh, for mutual information, which uh, cuts all of the causal inferences. Actually, this blue space is larger than this green manifold. So the you know, distance minimized in larger space is always, of course, smaller. Therefore, we can easily see that uh, this integrated information is less than the mutual information. So this unified framework are uh, based on minimization of the care divergence between the full model and uh, you know, disconnected model uh, clearly shows the relationships between the among many quantities. So first, if we cut all of the causal inferences, we can get the uh, mutual information between x and y. And if we cut only uh, causal inference from x to, to y1, we can get the transfer entropy. And then if we cut the both causal inferences, we can get uh, integrated information. So in this way, we can get this clear relationship. So transfer and uh, mutual information is the upper bound, and the transfer entropy is uh, less than the phi. Also that uh, we can uh, compare these quantities with the other previously proposed quantities. The, this one is actually previously proposed as a measure of integrated information, but uh, it turns out this uh, measure quantifies also simultaneous sort of interaction, non-causal interaction between y1 and y2. So therefore, I believe that uh, if we want to just uh, quantify co causal inferences, this measure is better than this. So let, let me summarize uh, today's talk. So first, that uh, you know, I propose uh, you know, novel measure of integrated information from a unified framework. The important point is that uh, I, I'm not uh, claiming that uh, this is a kind of best measure, but uh, this framework is kind of general and that and is utilized for deriving other measures as well. So what we did is that uh, first we define the operation of cutting causal inferences that is given by this. And then we quantify the difference between the full model P and uh, some disconnected model Q. And I use uh, callback driver divergence for the ease of analyzing the uh, measures. But uh, we can of course use other measures like uh, earth movers distance, which is more you know, difficult to deal with, but I think it's an interesting uh, future research project. And then we minimize the difference, the P and the Q, and then we get uh, you know measure of integrated information. And also, I think that uh, it will be very interesting to derive integrated information from a uh, physics viewpoint, like uh, Max did in the 2015 paper which quantifies a kind of a separability of the you know, Hamiltonian. And also, probably I think that, uh, for instance, information thermodynamics can contribute to this uh, aspect, I think. But uh, I have not yet done. Yeah, that's all. <laughs>